hi everyone welcome back to the channel so this is the next video in the excel automation series let's see our agenda for today today we are going to discuss how we can look up range in excel with the help of yapod studio how we can autofill a range how we can remove duplicates from a range in excel with the help of yapod studio and all of this we are going to see with the help of demonstration to start with let's say I have an excel which I called sample excel file and I have a data in sheet 3 so this data is related to some product and the month of the sale okay and uh, for some piece of automation let's say I want to require the cell number so if I ask you about studio tell me where exactly the August is located so I just highlight this one so August is available in cell j10 okay so how can i know this thing in a uh, uapa studio and what happen if august is available in multiple locations so august is available here august is available here as well okay so let's see how in ui path we can get the cell reference whenever we are working with a sheet of data okay so for that we quickly go to your path studio i have taken an excel application scope it is pointing to the excel this excel is located at the project location here okay so to look up range we go to activities and we go to excel inside app integration excel we have something called look up range okay we'll drag and drop here talking about the properties so look up range has this input property so the first thing is range sheet name and the value so the sheet name is which is the sheet we want to refer so for us the sheet name is sheet 3 let's go here and update the sheet 1 to sheet 3 what is the value I want to search for I want to search for August and the important thing here is the range okay so where exactly you want to find the value so if I want to select the value in the entire sheet I will keep this range as blank okay we'll talk about this in a little bit later and then uh, something called result so if we'll just hover over it you will see this is an output of type string so we can go here and type control K and type cell number and cell number is of type string okay so now to print this I can take a message box and I will write it here cell number okay so now what is happening here so UiPath is reading the Excel we have asking UiPath to look up the range in the cell sheet look for the value August in the entire sheet and whatever result you get store it in the cell number variable and then pop out the value I'll save this workflow I go to the Excel save it let's execute the file run file and we have got J10 so August was located at J10 okay so this is so if I go back so J10 is written by UiPath studio that August is located as J10 okay let's do some of the changes and let's see if I just copy this August and I paste it in let's say j1 i'll just highlight this one okay and i'll highlight this guy also so now what happens if i run the uh, automation now okay so i go back here run the file so now i have returned a value of j2 okay so that means uipath has returned me the first occurrence of the august okay so now to want to know how exactly uipath is treating this August so we'll do one thing we'll copy this one and put it in let's say here also in B4 also so now we want to know whether UiPath is first checking in rows or first checking in columns so if it is checking in columns we would get J1 and if it is checking row by row then we would get B4 okay so let's save the file go back here run the file And we have got j2 so that means that uipath checks for the value in the lookup range row by row so first it check in this row we got this guy then this row then in this row so it has got this occurrence here so it reverted this one so if i just change it to something march now we should get b4 okay i'll save this run the file And now we have got b4 okay so now when we should exactly use the range so let's say i want this here so i already have this in row 
first row already have the occurrence of the value but for some automation needs i want the value to be look up specifically from this range okay so this is the place when you would use the range so i would select the range from a1 to what is this range something of will take c30 okay so i can go here i will type here now you don't look at an entire range you just look at a1 to c30 okay so let's go back to the automation okay so this is a1 to c30 okay so we are telling ui path now to look for the value in sheet 3 the value to be searched is august and now you don't have to look for the entire range you just have to look for this range and return me this number okay let's go back to the excel now ui path will look the data only in this range okay and now we should get b4 okay so if i just run the file now so i have got b4 okay and if i just change this range to the entire sheet now we have got j2 so this is how we work with lookup range in uipath studio and we can tweak this activity accordingly uh, as per our automation needs now let us see how we can work with an autofill range in an excel so for that we again go back to the excel so this is the excel sample excel file and this is the excel which we have pointed to the excel application scope so what does an autofill mean so let's say for some automation we require to put up a date here so how can i put a date here so i can put it date like 1 1 2020 then 2nd january 2020 and so i have to do it so on right for the entire set of records so assuming now only i have 30 records so let's say if there are 10 and hundreds of records so i have to do it one by one so for that excel is a feature of autofill so what we can do is we can always go here and do it like this and then we simply drag it to the end or we can just double click and it automatically fills the range for us so this is the feature which is provided by excel and this feature of excel is called autofill so in this video now we are going to see how we can implement the same functionality with the help of a uipath studio so i just revert everything Control z i'll just keep one date in the first cell that is j2 and now i want to autofill this complete range okay so i go back to uipath studio excel application scope is pointing to the excel we go to activities and inside the app integration excel processing we have an activity which we call autofill range drag and drop the activity to the panel let's go to properties so we have input properties called sheet name and the source name so the sheet name is we can go back to the excel and the sheet name is sheet 3 update the sheet name to sheet 3 now what is the source range so if we'll just hover it it says the range where exactly you want to apply the auto fill right so what is the source range so source is where i want to copy the formula or the value from so that is in j2 so i have to give the cell reference here and i'll write here j2 next what is the fill range so fill range is what exactly the destination range you want to fill right so for me the destination range is from j3 to j30 so i will write here j3 this is wrong so i will write here j2 to j30 so why this is so because we are telling uipath here to copy the range from j2 and the, then fill the range from j2 to j30 so this is how this activity works so the source range is j2 and the fill range would be j2 to j30 okay let's save this one i want to run this automation in a debug mode so i put a right line activity here i will just keep it blank i'll put a debugger here let's go back to the excel save everything and debug the file okay so it has hit the breakpoint let's go back to the excel and the range is filled accordingly 
so let's see what happens if I just update this autofill range to J3 okay so I go here and I type J3 save this debug the file see so we have got an exception which that autofill method of the range class has failed okay so that's why whenever we are using dealing with the ranges so it should be always if the source range is j2 then the fill range would be j2 to j30 okay so let me just show you one more thing i'll just revert the changes just delete this okay and we have date here so let's say for some automation i don't want it to fill to the entire range i just want to fill it to let's say only for the five values what i can do is i can go to the autofill range and i can just specify the range to let's say j10 and this would be now j22 j10 debug the file Okay, let's go back to the excel and now the range is filled only up to j10 now the question arises how i can evaluate this j10 and all what we can do is we can easily uh, take the read range, read range activity read this entire range get the data table count and then append it to this j number right so we can get the row count that is 30 we can get the last column that is j and that way we will get j30 and then j30 can be passed as a variable here so all the properties such as fill range sheet name source range can be passed as a variable and argument to this activity so that is how the autofill range works in yapath studio the next activity which we want to discuss today is the remove duplicates so let's say i have this set of data available in my excel sheet so I have sheet 3 and I have made the copy of the data in a copy sheet so if you'll see I have highlighted the duplicate data so entire this data Montana is duplicate this Paseo data is duplicate this fellow is duplicate and this data is again duplicate so if I just want to remove the duplicate data in Excel how do we do that I go here and I just select out remove duplicates hit ok and all the duplicates data is removed so let's say i want to do the same task with the help of your path studio so how can we do that okay so i go to sheet 3 i save everything i go back to your path studio and i have this excel application scope which is pointing to the excel which we are just demonstrating sample excel.xlx i go to activities and we have an activity called remove duplicate range inside the app integration excel processing and we have an activity called remove duplicate range drag and drop it here so now let's go to properties so in the properties you will see we have two properties the first thing is the sheet which sheet you want to remove the data from so if i go here the sheet we want to work is on the copy or the sheet 3 so let's work on the copy sheet so i'll just rename the sheet to copy and now the range what is the range i want to delete the data from so there are two ways of providing the range i either i can the provide the entire range like a1 to let's just check what is the range this is a1 and this is i30 so i can provide a1 to i30 okay save so we are telling uipath to remove the duplicate range from this sheet and this is the range okay so in the copy sheet we have this data let's save everything i'll go back to your watch studio and debug the file okay so execution has paused in this right line that means this activity is executed let's go back to the excel file and we see the duplicate data is removed the same way it has then in when we process did the process manually okay let's do one thing i'll just copy this data again and i'll just revert the data okay so let's see one more way of how we can work with the ranges i can go back to your path studio stop the process in the remove duplicate range in the properties what i can do is i can always go here and provide the range as like this a to i so if i'm not sure about the numbers and the ranges i can always go ahead and provide a to i save this automation save the excel go back to your path studio 
and debug the file okay let's go back to the excel and we see again the uh, range is been uh, modified and all the duplicate data are removed from the excel sheet so this is how the remove duplicate works in your patch studio so that is all for this video i'll wrap up this video here to know more about the activities we discussed we can always come to doc.uipart.com and read about the activities which we discussed look up range autofill range remove duplicates so a detailed description about all the activities is available here thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation